this is Sister Christensen. Because all of you will be completing the Life Plan Part 3 assignment, I want to give you a tutorial to help you. So first of all, you need to open up your Life Plan document. It's actually a workbook in Excel, and it you've sent it to me before in the file called Life Plan and then underscore your name. So open that workbook and you are going to select sheet 3. You're going to look at the bottom and you're going to find the tab that says sheet 3 and you're going to click on that. Then you're going to need to go to exercise 3.3 uh, part C and you're going to look at problems number 29 and 30. So for problem 29 you're going to find the price, interest rate, and years of a loan for homes in your area. And you're going to enter the price, the number of years, and the interest rate, and then we're going to use the payment formula to figure out how much it's going to cost you to own a home. You're going to do this exact same thing for the cost of owning your own transportation. So let me show you my sample to help you. Here is an example. This is problem number 29. Oh, and let me show you. So this is, you, you've turned your budget for five years from now in for your part one assignment. You had savings calculations that you submitted for your second assignment. And here you have your um, part three. I like to, these tabs used to be um, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, and I like to click on these down here and um, give it a, a new uh, title. That helps me. You can choose if you want to do that for yourself. Okay, so um, first of all, you're going to be finding the interest rate right now for homes in your area and find out what the real rates are for people who are buying homes. This will help you as you plan. It's really important. Uh, then you're going to find out the, the terms of the loan for the number of years that most people get a home loan. And this right here is the number of payments. So most people pay one payment a month. So they pay 12 payments in a year. And um, this is the principal amount. And let me just tell you that right now where I live, the interest rates on a 30-year loan are about 4.5%. Some people can get it a tiny bit cheaper if they have um, better credit, and some people have to pay more if they don't have such great credit. So if you are wise with your spending and your debts, then you can get a lower interest rate. Currently, right now, where I live, an average home is about 200000 maybe a little higher, but I wouldn't, con for myself, I, I don't want to consider anything higher than that. <clears throat> so that's the amount that I've chosen. And then the rate, if you remember, is where you take your interest rate and you divide it by the number of payments. And that gives you the amount of interest, basically, per month. And then this is your number of periods. So you're going to take um, the 12 payments multiplied by how many years your loan is. Now I've done this to show you that where I live, most people get a 30-year loan, but if you want to pay more each month and for a shorter amount of time so that you pay less interest, some people do a 15-year loan and the interest rate is usually lower. So it's worth it if you can afford the monthly payments. So I'm going to do a payment for both of these to show you the difference. Now where I live for a car, um, interest rates vary a lot, but the average, I would say, um, average loan interest rate is about 6%. I found in, um, an interest payment for the car I bought through a special kind of a bank called a credit union, and I was able to get my loan for um, about 3%. So if you look around and you're careful about what you buy, you can find lower interest rates. Now most loans where I live are about five years, 
and again 12 payments per year so you have a total over here of 60 payments because again you're going to use your formula that is um, your years multiplied by the number of payments per year which gives you 60 and again your rate is the number of um, your interest rate divided by your number of payments. Now let me show you how to do the PMT formula. I've shown you the amount down here but I want to show you how to actually calculate for that. All of these other amounts you can plug in just like I have. Once you get to the PMT you are going to click on your formula builder. Now remember you can either use this right here your FX or you can come up here and this little box right here is also the formula builder. I'll show it to you both ways. If I click on this little box right there, you'll see this box pop up. Now, I've used this recently, so my PMT is in my most recently used. You can also search for PMT up here in the search box by just simply typing PMT. And as soon as you do it, you'll see it pop up and these are the exact same thing. The other thing you can do is um, you can scroll down and find PMT under fi the financial division. So you can just click right on that and I'm going to double click and it's going to pop up the PMT um, calculator. Now I'm going to click in each box so first I'm going to find the rate. So I'm going to come over and show it my rate then I'm going to show it my N per for the exact same um, calculation so you notice I'm just staying within this first one this 30 year loan now the PV is the present value which is this the principal so I'm going to click that and now those are the only three items I need for this um, and I'm going to hit return now it's going to tell me that my payment per month at this interest rate for 30 years is going to be $1,013.37. Now let me show you what it will be if I do a 15 year loan at a lower interest rate. I'm going to again click here. I'm going to click my PMT function again. Now let me show you actually how to do it um, this other way. You're going to click double click here. And you'll see it'll pop back up. Now I can again click on most recently used or if it's not there I can scroll down. So first it's arithmetic, then database, and you're just going to go until you scroll down until you find formula. I personally just type PMT up above if it's not, um, oh sorry, there's financial and PMT will be at the um, lower part of financial. It's alphabetical. So there it is. But like I said, searching for it up here is much faster if it's not already like mine where it's in my most recently used. So double click and again for rate, I'm going to click here for and I come back into my calculator and I go back over to the number of periods and PV. I'm going to put my principal right there and then I'm going to hit return. Now, you notice that my payment is actually higher. My payment is 1459 but I am not going to be paying that payment for as long as this one. This is only 15 years of that amount. This is 30. I will show you how to calculate for the total amount of debt that something, or the total cost that these loans will be for you in just one minute. Now, um, down here, I can delete this, but you can see here that I've got the calculations right there in my um, calculator. And if I hit enter, this is the amount that I get for my auto loan. So if I get a, a five-year loan for a $5,000 car and, it caught, and it's at 6% interest, it's going to cost me $96.66 per month. Um, just so you know, these parentheses and then the minus sign are the same thing. I am not 100% sure right at this moment why it, it did it two different ways. It might be because of how these are plugged in, but anyway, either way, it's the same thing. If it's in parentheses, it's 
it also means negative like that. So now watch what I do here. I'm going to do a formula and I'm going to say tell me how much if I pay that price times that many payments and hit enter that is how much you actually pay for that loan. So again I'm going to do that. I'm going to say equals this amount times 180 payments equals. And I'll do the same thing down here to show you about the car loan. Equals payment times number of periods. Enter. So now you can see that if I take out a car loan at 6% interest for five years, that car loan that I took out for $5,000 will end up costing me $5,799.84. So that is the difference of $799.84. And I can calculate that also by a formula if I want. Equals um, payment plus, oops, plus the amount that I paid, enter. And so that in parentheses is telling me I paid a negative $799 extra for that loan. And again, you can look over here and see, okay, I paid, the loan was only $200,000, but I ended up paying $364,813.42. But if I make that payment in 15 years instead of 30, at a slightly less interest, at slightly less interest, sorry, um, I'm going to pay only 62000 That's a difference between those two of $100,000 of interest. So you can see that if you can pay off loans a little faster or that you can pay a little more a month for a shorter time, it, make, it can make a huge difference. $100,000 is a lot of difference in payment if you can pay that earlier. So I hope this helps. Please send me an email if you have any questions about this or if maybe you have already submitted this assignment. If you were one of those people who was quick to finish this and get it done before you saw this tutorial um, and you want to redo what you've done, then um, send me an email and let me know you want me to give you a retry um, this is not required right here, but I think this helps you see the total cost. And I think that's really what this assignment is wanting you to see. That you once you've calculated the payment, you can also calculate the actual cost of that loan. So you can see that the loan can be quite um, expensive for you. So it's really good to do this calculation so that you can see if the loan that you want to take on a home or on a car is going to be worth it um, for you. So I hope that helps. Please let me know, like I said, if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.